This is John Visconti, and today I'm bringing you another unboxing of a fountain pen. This pen is from the Visconti Pen Company in Florence, Italy, and no, I am not related or affiliated with the Visconti Pen Company in Italy. We just share the same last name. Uh, this particular pen is from their Van Gogh series of pens, and which uh, Visconti has taken uh, the colors from Vincent van Gogh's artwork. And they've taken a specific painting and they've infused the resin in their pens uh, with those colors. Uh, the pens are, are a reflection of the primary colors Vincent has used in his artwork. And this particular pen is from, from van Gogh's um, sunflower series of paintings. And he did about 11 or 12 sunflower paintings, depending on who you ask. And uh, there's a, in all of them, there's a predominance of yellow or a goldish yellow in the actual sunflowers. And if you're wondering what the sunflower painting perhaps looks like, well, here's one. And here we have a delightful painting uh, the sunflower paintings are beloved uh, Van Gogh uh, uh, paintings. We have a light yellow background. We have golden yellow sunflowers. Uh, we have it signed here by Vincent. We have a light yellow pot and then a darker uh, tabletop in yellow. And we have a little bit of green. Uh, in fact, even a little bit of blue up here. So <clears throat> it's predominantly uh, yellow, uh, which is fine. Um, and Visconti has done several other pens on their website, on their Van Gogh series. Uh, you can find, uh, of course, Sunflowers. You can find Starry Night, Cafe Terrace at Night, um, Oran, Self-Portrait in Blue, Red Vineyard, Souvenir de Mouve, and Wheatfield Under Thunderclouds. Uh, I've done a couple of his uh, uh, artwork and pens, Visconti pens on this channel. So anyways, we might as well begin with the actual unboxing. And I'm curious to see what I got because... Um, Resin pens are all unique. And no two resin pens by Visconti and their, their Van Gogh series are um, are the, exactly the same. So, but I think we can begin the unboxing here and see what we got. Okay, there we go. Open this up. And we have a little bit of bubble wrap. And there is the gift from Pen World. Uh, they wrap their pens uh, very nicely. And I'll begin this opening. Go. Should have one more here. Okay, I got that off. So what I will do is I will move this stuff out of the way. Okay, so we got the painting, and now I'll remove the uh, paper. Okay, and well, let's see if I have the same uh, version of sunflower that, yeah, I do. This is pretty much, you can see the center flower here matches the flower here. Uh, it's definitely the same painting. So that's pretty cool. Uh, and I'm real curious to see what exactly my pen looks like, but I don't want to spoil it right now. 
And then we have on the inside, we have the Visconti Van Gogh series uh, booklet with the various pens and the colors that they are. Uh, here we have the colors. We have the collection. We have technical details which I'm hoping the camera picks this up so you can, uh, you can check it out. I don't do specifics like technical stuff and so forth. So, uh, And here are the different inks. Now, what I don't know, because I didn't see inside the box, is if I got the uh, standard version without the ink or the deluxe version with the ink. So now here's the big reveal. Yes, I got the deluxe. Okay, I didn't know. Uh, this is a uh, a yellow ink, obviously. I'm curious to see what this looks like. It's probably more of an amber color uh, if it's represented by this label here. So I'm glad I got the deluxe version. And now we got the big reveal of the pen itself. And here it is. So we have a gorgeous resin pen, uh, very much matches the uh, sunflower painting in colors, and every pen is unique. So I have a little bit of oh darker uh, yellow in the pen, little spots. I don't see any green as represented here. And I certainly don't see any blue as represented right there. Um, but nonetheless, a very nice pen. I have a small collection of fountain pens. And I don't really have any yellow fountain pens. So it's always nice to have a uh, uh, something that represents uh, different colors in the uh, spectrum. Uh, as you probably know, these have a small removable finial on top of the cap, uh, which you can uh, replace with a semi-precious stone. Like this would look really good with a tiger eye uh, finial on the top. Uh, and that's removable by a fairly strong magnet. You can displace it and you can put in uh, semi-precious stone or initials. You can have this kind of do uh, initials, your initials, and put those on there. And next we'll move down to the clip, which is very nice. It's uh, spring-loaded. And uh, the only thing I'd be careful about is if you put this in your pocket, that it doesn't slip out because it is spring-loaded and it can come undone. Uh, these, pens, these pens feature uh, magnetic closure. Uh, which is is pretty adequate. I mean, it, it it's it's right in there. It just connects really well. Uh, they do have a steel section, which a lot of people uh, uh, think are not that comfortable. But I I don't have really have a problem with uh, steel sections. And then they come with converters. And pretty much your standard international converter. Um, so I don't think that they, they can be uh, just filled with ink and used without a converter. Just filling the barrel with ink, eye dropping it in there. I don't think that uh, I would take a chance with that. Uh, and then on the bottom of the barrel, we have a piece of chrome. So... This is basically a very nice pen, and I'm quite pleased with it. And I do like the way it is influenced and inspired by uh, the sunflower painting by, by Vincent. So anyways, well, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you want more Vincent Van Gogh uh, uh, videos on YouTube, there are a lot of channels that get into more than I do. So uh, you might want to just check it out. Uh, but uh, I think it's a nice pen. And 
I think it will display nicely. So anyways, that's about it. And I hope you've enjoyed this. And thanks so much for watching.